Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete S3 buckets in AWS using Crossplane which is the open source Kubernetes extension. I have logged into the AWS management console. Let us go and review whether we have any S3 buckets. Click buckets. We don't have any S3 bucket in this account. So we are going to create the S3 bucket using Crossplane. For that first we need to install Crossplane in a Kubernetes cluster. I am going to install that in my Minikube. So first let us check the status of Minikube. It is up and running. So we need both kubectl as well as helm. So let's check. Yeah. Yes we have the latest version installed. So now let's check the Helm version. We have Helm version 3.11.2 installed. Now let's add the repo. Helm repo add cross plane stable charts cross plane dot io slash table the repo has been successfully added now let's do a help repo to refresh the local cache we have done it now let's do a help install plane we are going to install in the namespace cross plane system so the namespace doesn't exist so we are going to create the namespace table cross plane so the cross plane has been successfully installed so now let us check whether the pods are successfully running in that cross plane system namespace the pods are successfully running it also creates some api resources so let's check that as well grep so these are the api resources which gets created as part of the helm installation of cross plane now let us create the AWS provider. Apply minus F. So first we need to provide the API version which is kg dot cross plane dot io slash v1 with the kindest provider then we need to provide the metadata we need to give a name we'll call it as provider aws then we need to give the spec so we need to give the package xpkg dot upbound dot io slash upbound slash provider hyphen aws then we need to give the version so we'll give the version as um, 35.0 so the provider aws has been created successfully let's check that so it has successfully installed but the health is unknown so it would take few minutes for the health also to become true so in the meantime let us create an aws secret let me show you what all information we need to provide for that so we are going to create that as a default profile to give aws access key id and then the value for that AWS secret access you can create the 
access credentials from the console and you can use it here. I already have created a file with that credential so I am going to use that and create the AWS secret. Keep CTL create secret this is a generic secret so name is AWS secret and I am going to create it in the namespace cross plane system then this is from the file with the key as credits so the secret has been successfully created let's describe and check okay so we could see that the secret has been successfully created in the cross plane system namespace now let's check the status of providers okay the state is also healthy now let us create a provider config so there you are going to bind the aws secret to the provider Now we need to provide the API version which is going to be aws.upbound.io slash v1 beta1 then the kind is going to be provider config then metadata we need to give a name we'll give the name as default then we need to give the spec we need to provide the credentials we need to give the source of the credentials which is going to be secret then we need to give the secret reference we need to provide the namespace in which we have the secret it's cross plane system then we need to give the name of this secret which is AWS secret then we need to provide the which is credits. The provider config has been successfully created. Now let us create the S3 bucket. Need to give the API version, which is going to be dot aws dot up bound dot io slash v1 beta1 kind is going to be bucket meta data we need to give a unique name so i'm going to call it a cp bucket and some random numbers we need to give the spec so we need to give for provider Region is east one, then provider config ref to give the name for that, which is default. So the bucket has been successfully created. Let's confirm that. Let's confirm that. kubectl get get dot s3 dot aws dot upbound dot io yes we could see the bucket has been successfully created let's go and validate that in the console let's refresh we could see the bucket has been successfully created now let's go and delete this bucket CTL delete provide the name the bucket has been successfully deleted let's validate that in the UI 
refresh yeah we could see that the bucket which we created using the cross plane has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create and delete s3 buckets in aws using cross plane if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo